right, Holmes. I think we will wait and see how the British troops treat us, no, and partial. then, if they but are, partial, if they show themselves to be partial to the people, then we will turn on British troops also. Yeah. Do you think there's a danger that they may line up shoulder to shoulder with the RUC? I would say there's a grave risk of that. Yes, I would say there's a grave risk of that. All along they have stood on the brink. As a matter of fact, Britain has interfered already. They have they have housed troops in Seagull. They claim that they have no power to interfere in Northern Ireland, and they have interfered in this score. And they have put p- troops on uh, the p- side of the p- police in Belfast already on the alert. And you can't go much further than that and help make any government. So we're going to have to wait and see how these... Yes, are, yes, huh? wait and see. I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. You wouldn't have the trouble that you do have at the minute if they kept the Paisley out. I myself have never been involved at any time in anything here. Well, that's not to your credit. Either civil rights or anything else. But when the Paisleyites come in and uh, and they get freedom from the RUC, then it's time for everybody to get in. That's the time for people to get in. They're assisted by the RUC. 800 men of the RUC were recruited from the B specials, and that's one-third of the force. One-third Paisleyites. Are all if the police had kept back the pace less, they would have had a lot less problems than they would have no at the minute. Because the, the ordinary decent Catholic has respect for most of the police. Not the outside police, the, not local, anymore. the local police. Not any- That's not nonsense, so it no, is. No, no, That's anymore, nonsense. No, no. The local police have been involved. We have very Catholic police involved. Yes. Well, are everybody in the bug side prepared to give these troops a chance? Yes, yes. yes. they're prepared yes. to be given yes. a chance. A chance is all they'll be given. I said he has done more in one hour. Jack Lynch. Jack Lynch. I'll call him Jack Lynch. He has done more in one hour for to help the people of Derry than they expected him to do. I agree. There we go. And he cannot, now he cannot say nothing about Jack Lynch. I don't care whether he's being a father or what he is. He's a gentleman. And he's going to send in help to Derry. Would you have to give the British troops a chance? Yes. Yes. Well, you want to give the British troops? We don't want the British troops. We have to accept the British troops. But we don't want the British troops. You have to accept the British troops. But we don't. Of this area at this stage, the throwing of stones or any other action must be avoided at all costs. Every person here has a responsibility. They must see that that responsibility is carried out. The position at this moment is that the British forces. I'll take, I'll occupy the place. Hold it, hold it.